Okay, I've screwed the motor back in. Now I will snap the light board back in place. Okay, I've tinned all of the connectors, the wire connectors, the track pickup connectors, the motor connector. I've also tinned the ends of the, each of the wires. So now you're going to have a solid soldered electrical connection to all points except for the screw here to the chassis and these clips that are on the uh, trucks. I don't know if this material here, the gray material, uh, can be soldered easily to and that's probably why they're soldering onto this uh, brass clip. Anyway, I'll leave that as it is. There's enough surface here that there should be no uh, electrical problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and solder back all the wires. Okay, everything is soldered back in place. And uh, remember, when you solder these wires back, just uh, plan ahead and start making preparation for getting them out of the way. So you can see how I shape this down towards the uh, chassis. All the wiring and everything is going to be on top in the uh, shell. So the more things you can get out of the way now, the better you'll be. And obviously make sure that everything is uh, free rolling where you're not going to have any binding spots. Now what I'll do is I will plug in the decoder into this uh, wire harness and test run the locomotive to make sure everything works uh, at least uh, make sure that the motor works in the proper direction and that the uh, speaker works. I'll show you where you need to solder the speaker uh, so you can test that out as well. To plug in the decoder, remove the larger pin or the larger wire harness that's in the socket already and that's going to be the end that opposing the end with the capacitor. The side that has a capacitor is the 8 pin plug. The opposite end is the 9 pin wire harness. That's the one that you'll need to remove. Now to remove these, just grab the decoder, grab the uh, massive wire, and simply uh, pull on the wire and the tab. It's a little uh, hard, but Put the wire between your uh, index finger and your thumb, press, and just uh, pull it apart with a little uh, wiggling it as you pull it apart. It should come right off. Now you just plug in your decoder into your wire harness at the 9-pin uh, position. Okay, it's plugged in, and this is the position <clears throat> that it will rest once you uh, put your shell back on top. This way you'll have uh, plenty of space here for your speaker enclosure and all your wires that come over the top. What you'll have to do later, I'll show you where, is tape this capacitor, tape it down around the frame in the front so it's out of the way of the front truck. All right, once you have it plugged in, I'm going to test the uh, speakers. So you take the outer, or the uh, these outer two violet wires, these are your speaker wires. The one on the outside, closest to the edge of the decoder, is the negative. The one next to it is the positive. Go ahead and solder them to uh, temporarily to your uh, speaker uh, to make sure everything is working good with the sound. Okay, I've placed it on the track secured all of the uh, wires to make sure nothing is going to short out with a little bit of tape and I have the speaker soldered into the uh, its appropriate wires. Go ahead and set your uh, locomotive for th uh, 3 which is the default address and uh, press 1 twice and it should start up.
you'll see if the, uh, the wiring is uh, wired correctly. Let's go to speed step one in the forward direction. Nice and slow. All right, the next step is to take uh, your debonder and use a drop on a toothpick. Put a drop on each of the uh, ditch light lenses so we can uh, pop them out. The bonder should work within a few minutes and uh, it should start loosening up the, uh, the clear lens. All right after you have the, the bonder in place, just use your exacto just to move the uh, lens around. Try to get it from the tab behind it and just uh, gently pry it off like so. Now the tower LED, as you can see the uh, tip is pretty long. And if you were to put it through, it would stick out quite a bit. These uh, LEDs are designed that you can shave off or cut the cylindrical part down to the flat part and it will still uh, light up. And it's kind of hard to do this one handed, but it fits right in the hole. right through there. Okay, here we see the uh, tower LED mounted in the hole for the ditch light. And as you can see, it's sticking out quite a bit. So we measure that, we'll know that we're going to have to cut off approximately 3 sixteenths of the cylindrical part of the uh, tower LED. Okay, so I've measured out the uh, tower LEDs and I've determined that a little bit more than one-eighth of an inch has to protrude from the square part. I'm going to start cutting down with my uh, Dremel and uh, cut off wheel. time come back and measure make sure you don't overdo it and I'm right about there all I need to do is just uh, square it up and it should be good to go Just touch it to the outside of the uh, wheel. Good. I'll do the same to the other one. 